Hi, this is Larry Hatch for another episode of the Great EV Con Game, a channel devoted to exposing all the scams, flim flam, hype, spins, half truths of the EV evangelists and what they're trying to pull on us with this EV car mandate uh, that they claim is green and environmentally sensitive and um, necessary for the survival of our very species and all other known species, including cockroaches, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so today we're going to talk about EV conspiracies. First of all, I'm not a conspiracy nut. Um, and I don't believe all of these to the full extent, but there is an element of truth to all four of these conspiracies, and um, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this channel. So, without further ado, the first conspiracy is the government police can lock your car and drive it to their headquarters where you will be promptly arrested. Uh, I think you, some of you saw the TV show Bait Car, where they would catch people who were habitual car thieves, and they'd lock them in the car, and then they'd come up and grab them. Well, electronic vehicles, that is very, very easy to do. And I got this information from a PhD university professor whose project as an engineer was to develop electronic cars with the particular university uh, that's not in my area, and I'm not going to mention them. But he told me that before any university or research organization can develop electronic cars, they have to use certain codes and certain protocols that the Transportation and Safety Administration can access. He says the government can lock your car, drive it somewhere you don't want to go, arrest you. Uh, they can certainly detain you very easily. They can shut down your car at any time. Uh, like I say, that can already be done. Uh, but with the self-driving part, yes. So if the government thinks you're a crook, uh, and there's a warrant for your arrest, uh, they will find your car very easily with GPS, and uh, they will lock your car and drive you, and you can't get out unless you smash the windows. Well, people say, how is that a conspiracy? I haven't done anything wrong, and I don't plan on doing anything wrong. Therefore, I've got nothing to worry about. Well, isn't that how all losses of freedom are? Oh, well, if you're not a crook, you've got nothing to worry about. So let's give up more freedom just so we can catch the bad guys. Well, suppose you do something the government doesn't like uh, that has, it's not really a crime, but there's a whole range of things the government doesn't like. Could they lock you up and prevent you from going to a particular meeting or a particular church or a particular group? I don't know. The technology exists and that bugs the heck out of me. If they're going to rescue you and pull you over the police car legitimately, fine. But don't lock my car and drive it. That capability already exists and can be used. Uh, number two, the government gets the codes to control your vehicle anytime, any place, and track it. They can hack into your car camera system and phones. You know, they don't need to use those... Uh, driver face recognition cameras that there are on a lot of toll roads and such nowadays. Um, all I got to do is hack into your car, turn on your car's EV car's camera, uh, access your phones, and they, they know who's in the car, who's doing what, they can listen in on you. All that technology exists, and it's simply being enhanced for public safety. Oh my God. Yeah, we give up more freedoms all the time. Uh, number three, banks or financial institutions, car dealers um, can turn off your car and your chargers for mispayments or perhaps the government for owed back taxes or an expired registration. Um, you know, a lot of us don't know that our car loans, you know, it might say Ford on it or Chrysler or Stellantis or General Motors or such and such. A lot of those loans get sold to other companies. I know my bank 
that I trusted sold my car loan off to some very, very slimy people. <laughs> I wasn't subprime or anything, but they sold my car loan to some people uh, that claimed, after I'd made all my payments, everything in the book, I was using the book, payment book, after all my car payments were made, they said, oh, well, we miscalculated. You owe us two more car payments before you're going to get the title. I said, prove it. They said, no, you're not getting the title. So I had to pay them two more car payments that were not in the original agreement and um, complain to government officials. They did nothing about it. Apparently, it's a common thing to hold your title hostage. But anyway, this thing about financial institutions turning off your car uh, has already happened. Uh, there was a case of one woman, she was going to drive her daughter, her daughter was very sick, she was going to drive her daughter to the hospital, and she her car. She couldn't get in her car, she couldn't unlock her car, her car was dead. Her financial institution said she missed two payments, and they shut her car off. Um, as I recall, she did get an ambulance and got her daughter to the hospital, but that was a scary lesson. And there are other, look, look it up, there's documented cases of where these financial institutions, especially these sleazy, sleazy is the word I'm looking for, sleazy uh, subprime car loan companies, and this, you probably all have them in your town, uh, they can turn off your vehicle remotely, and with EVs this is even more possible, uh, it's, it's much easier, and they can per block your access to chargers. Um, there are cases in China we know where people's EVs have been shut down because they do things the government of China does not like. And we all know that Europe and the United States are probably going to follow the fascism and the socialism of China. It, it happens, um, and it's going to happen even more. Uh, the one that really disturbs me is number four, uh, the lack of the... The drive to end car ownership and where you must use state controlled vehicles or private car services leading to a massive loss of freedom and you'll have a perpetually constant rental status well in America at least home ownership and vehicle ownership are a core value in our culture okay and they are essential to our freedom our investments and you can say well an EV is not an investment they, they're going to appreciate yes but car ownership is going to be a better deal for you than using some rental service that you're forced to use we already know in China there are some places for pollution reasons they're forcing people to use state controlled private taxi services and they can only use government cars. They don't own the cars. And they're, they're using a service. Uh, Elon Musk has even talked about no more car ownership. I'm not sure he's fully into that, but he's talking about it. As have many others, where you just summon a car, like an Uber, but it's a self-driving car. You just summon a vehicle, and it comes to you when you need it, like a taxi or Uber or Lyft, um, but you don't have to own a car. Well, in, in some cities where you can't park or it's expensive to park, maybe that's a solution. But for most of us, we want car ownership, especially if we're going to have a kind of collector's car, high-performance car, luxury car. We want to own that sucker, and we do not want to use some state-controlled vehicle fleet. Um, again, elimination of car ownership, Elimination of home ownership, elimination of ownership of anything is highly socialist, if not communist, and it's being planned. So, if somebody says you can have a Tesla just for $200 a month, fine. But I guarantee you it's going to be much higher than that, and they're going to be able to raise those rates anytime they want. Uh, you know, when you, when you get a car loan... For 72 months or 80 months like some people are doing, I think even 87 months now, um, those lights are locked in. 
do, do you really think they're going to lock in the prices of a state-controlled fleet for that much time? No, they're going to they're going to get you in there with, hey, it's only three hundred dollars a month. You pay the charging, and then before you know it, it's seven hundred a month, and your freedoms are gone. So let me know what you think about these in the comments. Uh, all of these have a basis in reality uh, and are coming. Uh, the technology is all there, and it's already happened in some places in the world. So let me know. Thanks, and please subscribe.